compliance with COPA, this video is not for children under the age of 14. Your discretion is advised. Sponsored by CanadianModelRailroad.ca and by donations from patrons like you. Well, hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be talking about populating or layout. And to populate them, we will use small figures that come from different suppliers. Uh, a good example of a figure that looked good and is seen is that bike with that uh, person on it, all pre-painted. The only inconvenience with those is that they are expensive. Now you can buy a figure like this here unpainted by bulk. Usually they come from China and uh, you got a lot of people with the same pose or, or the same uh, uh, kind of uh, purpose. And you got those that are on a sprue when they come I believe from Backman uh, in a little box and you can paint them by holding the sprue like this and you got some that are from Prizer unpainted which if you buy by the box the bulk uh, became pretty inexpensive to do and then you end up with also uh, figurines like this that are 3D print uh, with other accessories like that stretcher here that's a 3D print we have uh, also uh, a pretty ex extensive choice of animals that can come from different suppliers some painted some non painted so you you kind of make the choice and here we have a figure that was painted by the modeler itself to paint those figuring uh, is a few tricks. Many different people use many different uh, strategy. What I like to do is to take uh, a double-sided tape like I got here and a stir, stir stick. And what I do, I put the stir stick on the tape like this. And then Just cut it and there we go now you say what we do with that stir stick well next to that I cut it to a certain length make some smaller stir stick and right in the middle I use my 11 blade. So when you're ready to paint some pictures, I relieve half of it like this. And then you take your non-painted And you stick it to it. So you have a hold on on your uh, figure the time you paint it. First you want to prime them. You can prime them in white, you can prime them in gray, you can prime them in black depending on what you really want to do with the pick with the, the figuring. And you would be using uh, different paint. May, might be enamel like the tester or it could be uh, acrylics from different craft paint uh, being folks art uh, crafters uh, uh, many different so that's how the figure appear when it's on that little stick when the figure is painted and finished uh, you 
take it out of there and you take the other half here that I left there to hold and transfer it in there put another figure in here and you're okay to paint two figures with the same stick. Now that's how your figure will look like after their prime in this case in here I primed them in gray uh, I got quite a few in here uh, that have been already prepared so the first thing to do with them is to do the colors that you know that you can paint over at one time uh, is you have to paint uh, the face and the hands and somewhat the legs for some of them and so on so what I do I take the very old palettes here you know yeah, there's not much on that palettes really so I got my figure on the front of me right and in here I got a tester uh, paint that is skin colors so after mixing it well I just put a dab in there and then I got and another one that is a little darker that can be also used for a skin color and taking a very small paintbrush I take my figures and I paint the face of my figure in the hands in this case I don't know if you can see this but that's what it looked like for this one right you don't really 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 care at this stage if you're going over the lines what you want to do is just to give them the color that is necessary for you in regards of their face and a little bit on the hands now by having been prime will get uh, apply a lot more easier because some of those figures um, for some reason do have the problem of not wanting really to stick the color. you are totally right to to prime them first uh, you can use your uh, airbrush which I usually do but not having that many uh, figures uh, I apply the primer a little bit like a, a wash on them you know so just so that I will say they are primed probably at 95% then I I hope you can see this figure uh, we got the skin color on it right and you do that to all your figures um, then later on you will determine uh, which color you want to do for the, the clothes and if it's a worker what kind of a security vest you want to put on and the likes that is entirely to your choice unless you have uh, a specific figure that you want to reproduce now we're talking here about figure for model railroad how to paint them and make them natural and so on now some figures will need to be more than likely put in a background uh, they're not in the front of the layout or they are inside of vehicles and so you would do the face but as far as the color 
uh, for the rest of the figures don't have to be as precise but if you got a figure that will go uh, up front right uh, then you want to have uh, a better job as far as the painting is concerned you want those figures to look nice now how long does it take to paint those figures uh, it's entirely up to you now here I have another figure that is ready now here I got a worker so I, I will damp my paintbrush in here and I will go and take uh, that worker and I will change the skin color to the other it looked more like uh, he had had a good suntan which highway worker rail worker will get you know sleeves are up and uh, so now very quickly uh, let me show you you see the difference in the color uh, of the skin that looked like somebody who had uh, a good sun then uh, comparatively to the same type of worker in here I don't know if you can see that the difference in between the two regard of the skin color. I got a tendency to take my construction worker and using a little bit of darker skin color so because I model during the summer and usually uh, all the work that they do on the tracks, uh, the, the train gangs and the, the people working on the roadways and so on. Uh, will be working mainly during the summer so they're subject to pretty good sun then so I use that color quite often you may have some people like this guy here he is also a worker but he's on his break so we paint it just the same with that color now usually I don't do both color at the same time uh, I would do one and then do the other one um, choosing all the little people no. those same people that you see in here that come from kits <coughs> don't necessarily have to remain in the positions that they are I got the habits might be a bad habits but uh, I got the habits that uh, when I do figures like this, I paint them totally. And when I have to use them uh, for a, uh, a scene in question, then I might take my X-Acto and change the way the arm is uh, uh, or do a cut at mid-body and bend him uh, or her and create uh, different positions that would be uh, what is required for the scene that I'm designing so you can change those pretty much so as much as you want they're not necessarily uh, uh, stationed there in a very straight positions that uh, you have to accommodate the load they want to have uh, you accommodate them to the scene and to what you want to do so which will make those figure on your layout a little bit more unique now as you notice those colors are pretty vibrant and when the whole person is totally painted uh, it might it might look a little too shiny so I will show you later on how to use powder uh, to 
add on to your figure painting which will weather them just the right way so that uh, they look natural and that is mainly for the, the, the people that would be in the front of your layout now if you have somebody who's on a on a truck for example majority the window is open right uh, you create a scenes where you got two trucks on a gravel road that are meeting like all the farmer do most of the time and they stop in the middle of the road and they have a chat right so you might take uh, your figures and s slice the arm in such a way that uh, the arm is on the uh, window and uh, or a wave here we got a woman so we paint that woman later on we'll give her a color of shoes and her coat and so on make sure that all the colors are in the right place. You don't see much of her hands. That would do it for that one. I find that painting figures is a nice pastime. Uh, you're at home in the evening, you're watching a little bit of television at the same time. Uh, you're painting your figures. The time is flying and you can paint quite a few figures and basically no time right just depending how precise you want to be you keep the details the fine details painting on a figures I keep them for less because then I might use something else other than paints to do it I might use a, a little fine markers uh, a pencil whatever uh, when you got a guy that's He's got a suit on and uh, you want to put a tie on or you want to put suspenders on that is the type of thing you keep for last you kind of go when you paint the doors uh, by using the colors that can go over the other colors this one you don't have when you do the face like that you don't really have to be so precise you know because but you want to make sure that the skin that is exposed on your figures is painted totally. Now I don't use a magnifying glass in here as you notice to prime them and to do the, the face and uh, I don't need magnifying glass. But uh, getting older as we all do, we want at one point or another to use the magnifying glass to, to be able to see the details and paint the detail unless you want to make some generic one so that was the color of the face um, and an idea how to uh, start to paint the figures so I will do a few and we will come back and now we have only one more left to go um, to paint his hard hat Foreman, one of it. The crew, you can see the detail. The man with the trowel. The one uh, with the concrete uh, drill. One of the employees there, uh, talking on his cell phone, holding a shovel. This one doesn't have a hard hat, so we'll give him a hard hat. There we go. He got his hard hat. The one on coffee break. This one we'll be using inside of a house, doing some tiling. Those one are technically finished and ready to go onto your project on the layout, and that's how you 
you paint those little people that you have on your layout. In there we got uh, orange, we got silver, we got black, uh, we got brown, we got blue for the jean, grey for the concrete, a little bit of silver and grey mix uh, for the shovel, some blue and some brown. Doesn't take a ton of colors to make a working crew. Now you can use it on the road, you can use it on the track, and you can use it on a construction site. It's easy to paint. Uh, now uh, we got uh, four, eight, nine figures in here that I complete and a couple that are in the stage of getting ready four of them that are a different stage of painting and that took probably about an hour and a half now our little men's uh, have been all done as you probably can see i hope you see so they're a little too shiny you of weathering them would be using uh, stony mountain classic casting uh, uh, weathering a powder. The other thing I do, uh, I take uh, the little people there and with the brush I uh, make sure that I, I put some of the powder all over. But what the powder does is give the uh, little man, now as you probably can see uh, the little man is, is weathered. Now the jean look like a pair of jeans compare two of them, one that is wetter and one that is not, and that's the difference in between the two. You repeat the process, you can use a different powder, different colors if you want. It's just as long as you does them properly. We got a second one done. It doesn't take no time at all to do that. When you have painted the face, uh, when you start it, when you you add on the uh, weathering, the, the powder, the chalks on, on those people, you will notice that uh, the face has more expression. You kind of lift the expression of the face of your little people there. Nothing in real life remain as shiny as when you buy a new product. The weather take care of that. Now when you got a crew that work on the road, it's nice to give them a suntan. Their clothes don't don't stay all clean for that long, you know, because the work take a share on them. So that's how you finish your little people, your citizen on your railroad empire. It's another example of the one who was sitting down taking a break. So till next time, happy modeling and thank you for watching. <music>